this is my YouTube video for my project over the dangerous arts blending in. Basically, in this book, um, the main character is a 17-year-old named Evan who has just got back from Bible camp. Well, where he learned a little bit more about himself and his sexuality. Evan lives in a very traditional Greek home with a very orthodox mother and a very hardworking father who doesn't tend to get involved in their conflict. When Evan returns from summer camp, he um, is, becomes, he notices that he has become more um, attracted to his best friend, Henry. This is a really good book because it is really relatable for a lot of people. Evan's mother is a very is very abusive because she knows that Evan is gay, even though he hasn't come out to her or anything yet. Um, and that is a problem for a lot of parents. I feel like because parents tend to have this planned planned out goal on how your life is going to be and the person you're going to grow up to be, and some parents when they um they find it hard when you are the way that they that they necessarily wanted you to be you're not you're not exactly how they planned it and yeah <laughs> that doesn't really make sense um when you're not like yeah um um i don't i'm not saying like all parents do this but a lot of parents were against LGBTQ plus community. They, when their child, when they feel like that is wrong and that something is wrong with their kid, reality, there's nothing wrong with them. And I feel like that's a lot of, that's a problem that a lot of kids have to go through. So when Evan is talking, talking about his problems, um, the LGBTQ plus community can relate and feel comfortable reading this book having some connection to it. On the other hand, this book can be very dark for some points because and some points because from the start you know that Eva's mom is abusive, but you don't know the extent that she's go that she's um the extent that she'll go to. Um, when you read the book, you think about, you think back to the title and you can understand a little more why it's called The Dangerous Arts of Blending In, because that's all Evan ever really tries to do. He tries to stay out of the way a lot and tries to fade into the background so that people don't notice him. I think that, I think that is one of his coping mechanisms for dealing with all the stuff that's going on in his life. Henry is one of, um, Henry... Henry, Evan's best friend, is one of his biggest supports. Even at, Henry helps Evan like see that he is more than what his mom has told him, and that Henry is the whole. Henry is basically the whole reason he learns to open up about who he is. And while I think this is a great book that has that has a lot of great points, that that I can relate to and that I think a lot of people re can relate to. Um, and it shows that a lot of people um, have felt the book was way too dark and that it's messy and it didn't make any sense. I thought the book show a lot of, a lot of, show a lot of what some kids have to go through and what life, what life is like um, for those kids. And it shows like there's going to be people who drag you down and there's always going to be people who, but there's always going to be someone who loves you for the person you are. Um, some other books that I think um, you should read are are the dress code for a small for small towns. Dress code for small towns. It should be like propping up here with like some terrible editing. Yeah, um, the dress code for small towns and. Uh, by the dress code for a small town i'm sorry by by bill no i'm sorry by courtney stevens and the music of what happens by bill con Kongenbergs. um i think you should read these books because they're 
because they're similar to the book that I'm talking about now, but they are also based around love stories and being different from everyone else. And so, if you like this book, you should definitely read the... <laughs> um, so yeah. Basically, to sum up the whole story. Um, Evan is a really... is a person who feels like he doesn't have anywhere to go. And he doesn't know what to do with the rest of his life because he wants the appreciation from his mother but he also doesn't know how to get it because his entire life his mom has seen him as a disappointment and that's really hard for him because you know everybody wants their parents to love them the people like who brought you into this world you want them to love and care for you and so um basically it's basically um when henry comes into the picture and um evan finally comes to realize and accept the fact that he's gay they become a lot more close but just with a really bad family life and yeah so you should definitely go read this book and miss mushko should definitely give me a good grade on this so yeah <laughs>